And there is just part of this capacity crowd here at Hillsborough, the Spine Cup. Packed to capacity, and which rather makes the lie of the fact that gates are falling football generally in this country. There is the view of the newsstand, part of it, something like 10,000 people sitting down with a completely uninterrupted view, and there'll be something like 26,000 pounds of receipts for this game here this afternoon at Hillsborough. And it's Manchester United then to kick off in this semi-final FA Cup tie here at Hillsborough against the present cup holder Spurs. The conditions are just as near perfect as you could possibly want for a game of this importance. And it's Blanche Fire that sets White very nearly in possession right from the word go. That's the famous Spurs long kick. Heard, heard, playing a little bit quick. Obviously tension in this game. For me, always the most difficult of all football matches to play in. He has one foot in Wembley and the other one more or less on the car park outside. Heard now, the trying and the attempted low heart hit centre, but Henry cleverly getting himself out of trouble. To Mackay, White. A lovely hook pass to Smith. Oh, and there's Greaves trying a first time effort there. Setters very nearly getting in a late tackle, but fortunately Greaves is all right. And Cantwell it was that got the ball clear there, but a little bit of pressure on the United defence in the first two or three minutes of this game. Spurs already beginning to play their inimitable style of mixing it up of long and short passing. Mackay now, the left half, is holding off. Hooks it out across the goals. Oh, and there's very nearly an accident there, and it's blanched by with the first bona fide shot of the game for a goal kick to Manchester United. Gaskell's goal kick is a bad one. I don't know whether he appears to be limping just a fraction or not. I don't know whether it's my imagination, but Charlton getting himself out of uh, trouble there very cleverly and a glorious pass to Lawton to Hurd. Hurd going on to it. Gets a shot and a very good save indeed by Brand. Well, if that's any measure of what we're going to have for the next 87 minutes, we're going to be in for a, a cracking game of football here this afternoon. And there's a foul by Lawton, a push in the back on Blanche Flower. And I hope we're not going to see too many, too much of that, or Mr Langdale is in immediately and having a word there with Lawton. Smith, oh, no, this must be the first one. And there it is, the first goal to Spurs. Brilliantly executed by Greaves, the inside left of Spurs after just four minutes play. It's Spurs that go ahead by one goal to nil and Greaves the scorer. United set to kick off now, one goal down. And their defence in the first four minutes has shown a certain amount of suspicion in their not quick anticipation of the moves by the Spurs forward line. That is the secret probably of the Spurs success there, Quicksilver forwards who can alter the pace of the game very, very quickly under most difficult conditions. Comes through to Gaskell. Mackay beating setters. Mackay now powering his way through the centre. On to White, White racing onto it. Checks, hooks it hard across the goal, and there's Jones coming up, but Dunn just beats him to the head. Mackay in over the bar, and I think Mackay's got a terrific bang there as he went in on that ball. He's holding his leg, and it's very rarely that you see uh, Mackay Dan holding his leg like that. Well, Mackay up on his feet again, as you all would e expect such a tough character as Mackay it was a pure accident in fact I'm sure that he said to set as well not to worry I caused the incident and you didn't goal kick to United they quite a strong wind now blowing down the pitch in Spurs favour midwind now to Greaves Greaves just holding on hoping that uh, Setters will come, he hasn't, and it's Greaves there trying a shot. Gaskell palms it down, and Setters in takes it right off the foot of Medwin.
Greaves through again on his own. Can he get it in again? No, and it's played off there very well indeed by Kentwell, but Kentwell's had to give away a corner. Very well taken corner there. White, oh, and a wonderful effort there. What a well-executed corner there by the Spurs attack. Gaskell's goal kick for United. Hit against a strong wind, and Lance Fly being caught in the tackle, and this time it's Lawton that's caught in the tackle. And it comes loose there after a bit of argy-bargy to Giles. Is he going to try a shot? He tries a shot, and a very good one too, and it's got Brand on his knees, but luckily for him, outside of the post for a goal kick to Spurs. And this is one of Spurs' few goal kicks in this first 21 minutes of the first half. Dalton just chopping it on as he hoped to find Lawton, and he does find Lawton, but it's a foul against Lawton for pushing in the back on Blanchflow. Free kick to Spurs, taken by Norman, and he's certainly using the win to its fullest advantage and Dunn there. No, obviously no cohesion at all there between Gaskell and Dunn, because Gaskell was just waiting to collect it, and Dunn very nearly gave a stupid corner away. Kai nodding it back to Norman. over eventually it looked suspiciously like it was over the crowd have roared for a handball decision there against Baker but of course it wasn't the ball played his arm and not the arm playing the ball White now for Spurs and a very very good one indeed Jones there and it's in the net a wonderful goal by Jones White a beautiful floated centre Jones to meet it on the run back of the net Manchester United trailing by two goals to nil after 23 minutes play and that really I think has put for, uh, Spurs one and a half feet I would say now back on Wembley turf for the second time in two years. Heard putting it on to Charlton. Charlton got a bad bang there from Baker but a beautiful pass by Charlton finds Lawton now for United. Lawton a hard one across the goal. Baker gets his head to it. It comes back again to Lawton. There. Oh, and he's waited much too long there. And it's Medwin always doubling back as both wingmen do to help out in defence when they're under pressure. Bringing it up to Smith. Smith flicking it into the centre there for Jones, but Dunn cuts it off very well indeed. Setters nodding it down to his right half. Styles on to to Giles, his little inside right who schemes very, very well, but is not scheming well enough to get the better of this Spurs defence so far. And it set us now, backing up his attack, moving on to it, putting it on to Hurt, Charlton, to Lawton. Lawton now across to Charlton. No, oh, and Charlton just got it underneath him. A shade in too quickly, otherwise we might well have had this two-goal lead of Spurs pegged back by Smith. Now, what can he do with this? He's only got one player between him, but he's got to check. He had no option, really. Smith now pushing it on to Mackay. Mackay trying a shot, and a wonderful shot by Mackay. No wonder he showed disappointment. What a great shot by Mackay. Well, this man, Mackay, is certainly having a great first half here. White. The ghost is he's affectionately named by the first players. Taking the corner for them. Norman trying to get up there. Mackay gets it in again, but there's Smith offside. Well, there's not much doubt about that. They're the only two inside the goal area. Everybody else is nearly on the edge of the penalty box. Tottenham Hotspurs then to kick off in the second half, leading very much more comfortably than the two goals that they are in the lead would have us believe. United have had a, a very poor first half. They had to contend with quite a strong win for about 25 minutes, but it's been Spurs all the way along the line, and on this performance in the first half, they are already booked for one of the dressing rooms at, Hybr at uh, Wembley rather, on May the 5th. Reeves... Oh, much too slow there, and allows Styles to get possession of it, although Styles are getting to a lot of work, a lot of it is negative. 
because it's sheer strength and not a great deal of finesse. But it's Giles now, the inside right now playing it outside right, finding Charlton. Charlton on to Lawton. Lawton going past. Lance Fair hooks it in there. Mackay coming to the rescue and the Spurs defence in a bit of a panic there. Spurs actually have released their grip on the game. Dahl is it back for Greaves. Greaves just floating it in there for Smith. Smith holding folks off. And there was pretty nearly a penalty there, but uh, Smith dived a little bit too expertly, really, to get away with it. Comes to Quickford. But uh, Manchester United moving back into the attack. And Charlton doing his level best to see if he can't do something about it. Tries a shot and it's Norman getting to it. Heard there, and it's in the net! It's hard! Well, all is not lost then for United. They've got six minutes now to pick back this other goal, and it's hurt the scorer. Really from Charlton's wonderful effort in midfield. And that's how much Styles wants to get on with the game. He's torn after the ball, got it back again. Well, that puts United now right back in the picture. Spurs have been playing rather nonchalantly over the last quarter of an hour. But they've really now got to try and step up again where they left off, and this is always a very, very difficult thing to do. And all of a sudden we find out that we've got quite a lot of Manchester United supporters here, because they've been strangely quiet up until now. Dunn whacking it there, Mackay cutting it off. And White just holding off, floats it across and there may well be the third one, and there it is! It's Medwin, and that man, White it is, that's done it again. Two beautifully floated centres for goals, and on this occasion it's Medwin, the opposite winger, playing an outside left on this occasion, that puts Spurs, without any doubt at all, into the FA Cup final for the second year in succession, and this is rather like watching football abroad, with the cushions coming on to the playing area. One sees this quite often, of course, on the continent, but not in England. Obviously, those Spurs supporters have been abroad watching the Spurs play. The kick delayed there for a moment. Just about three minutes to go. And there, United kicking off, 3-1 down. Just about three minutes, I would think, left for play. Norman. Coming out of that tackle with the ball, and it's Styles that went in with intent, I think, there to get the ball. Has come out with a bad ankle. And Greaves now just flicks it onto White, uh, to Jones, rather. Jones keeping it in play. To White. White back to Mackay. Spurs will just obviously play out time now. That's a corner kick. White's corner kick going in. Not it out by folks, but it's gone over the line for a throw in and uh, Whilst I make it time up now, I think there's probably a minute and a half uh, to be added on, or probably two minutes for injury time, as Mackay goes up to take yet another throw for Spurs. Mackay pushing it hard into the centre, and Setters hitting it away first time there, but onto the head of Henry. Although not a, a thrilling semi-final, it's been Spurs that have dominated this game throughout always had that much class and that much more ability than the uh, Manchester United side and any second now we're going to get the final whistle there's a foul against Smith on Cantwell and Mr Langer looking at his watch and there are Tottenham Hotspurs into the FA Cup final for the second year in succession and well they deserve to be there they've been always the better side against United and United have disappointed not only their fans, but 
probably also their manager very much indeed by their very lethargic approach to this game this afternoon.